Hi guys, it's Pastor Ken here. Just uh, wanted to share a devotional thought with you and we're recapping a series that we did at Every Nation Moment called Tell the Story. It's about the story of God. Now we all personally have a story, but God also has a story. It starts off with Him as Creator. Um, but every every story has um, has the need, need to explain why things aren't the way they should be. Basically every story needs an antagonist or a bad guy. If you think about it, there's people out there that have stories to say who the bad guy is. Marxists would say that um, the bad guy is the, the rich ruling class, the rich elite, or environmental Environmentalism would say that the bad guy is, you know, unfettered, greedy capitalists going around and um, exploiting the world's resources. Or, uh, you know, racism would say that the bad guy is someone with a different skin color. But actually, God's story also has something to say about who the bad guy is. So let's read about it from Genesis chapter 3. And we're reading from verse 6. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord among the trees of the garden. But the Lord called out to the man, where are you? Verse 10, he answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid. Because I was naked, so I hid. So here we read of the story in Genesis chapter 3 of when humans rebelled against God. They were given one clear instruction. Don't eat from this certain tree. They were able to eat from absolutely any other tree in the Garden of Eden, as the story is told. But there was one tree that they weren't allowed to eat from. And then they decide to eat from that tree in an act of rebellion and defiance against God. And God had made everything perfect. And we talked about this yesterday, how especially in terms of our relationships, the three dimensions of relationships between us and Him, us and each other, and us and creation. And then when humanity rebels against God and says, you know what, we want to be God instead. We want to kick Him out of the picture and we want to be our own gods. What they did is they broke everything. They broke perfection that was given to them they broke those three dimensions of relationship they broke the relationship between us and god they broke the relationship between us and each other they broke the relationship between us and creation we see here we read about this is how god was in the custom of meeting with humans adam and eve in the cool of the day to discuss their business and to find out what was going on and to build relationship and instead of meeting that day Adam and Eve hid from God because they were afraid. This is the first time that fear is mentioned in the Bible. Because we rebelled against God, we introduced fear into humanity. They covered themselves up because they were naked. They realized that all of a sudden this sense of shame had come in. Fear and shame have come in because of our rebellion against God. So we broke our relationship with God. We broke our relationship with each other. If you go on to read the story, Adam is blaming Eve. Eve is blaming the snake. Everyone, it's, it's, uh, the relationships are broken everywhere. They're trying to shift the blame. If you read on in the next chapter, the first two brothers, one murders the other. All human violence and conflict stems back to this breaking of the relationships. Who's the bad guy in the biblical story? Who's the bad guy in God's story? It's us. It's all humans. The result of our rebellion against God is the breaking of our relationship with Him. We're kicked out of the garden. The story goes on. We're exiled from God's presence. And then that leads to death. In some ways, all that's going on around us with the coronavirus, COVID-19, in some ways, in many ways, ultimately, that's our fault. We broke the relationship between us and the rest of creation. From the, the stars in the sky, the sun, the moon, the lions, the elephants, the mice, the mosquitoes, the viruses, the bacteria, that we're all meant to be in perfect harmony as we were back in the garden. But we rejected that when we decided, you know what, we don't want God to be God. We want to be our own gods. So we're the bad guys, but there's good news coming. This isn't the end of the story. This is just a part of it. There's still three more parts to come. And, but we, we do need to have, every story does need to explain why things aren't the way they should be. You know, we even now, right now, we have a sense that things are not the way they should be. Being locked up in social isolation, I mean, we have to do it right. It's to save lives, of course. But it's not like, it's not like, oh, yeah, this is just the normal course of events. This is not the way things should be. This, wasn't, this is not the way things are intended. And so let me just pray into that. And, um, but be encouraged. There's still more to this story. Jesus, we thank you so much that you are the creator God who made us. You made us to represent you. 
God, we're sorry that we rebelled against you. We're sorry that we didn't trust you. We're sorry that we wanted to be our own gods. And we're sorry that we broke everything. That you gave us perfect relationship with us and you, us and each other, us and creation. And we rejected that. And so, Lord, we just ask that you would show us what you have always intended. That you would show us that, um, that there's so much more than what we're going through right now. That when you place us in the garden, it was for us to flourish. And that you have more flourishing for us. And maybe we're going through as a world through a tough season of conflict between humanity and the rest of creation, particularly this virus. But we know, we go back to what we learned yesterday, that you are the creator God, that you are in control. And that what we're going to be hearing tomorrow is that you're the creator God who has a plan. You have a plan, you have a people, and you have a promise. And Lord, we, we thank you for that so much. That you didn't just leave us <laughs> kicked out of your presence. You didn't just leave us in broken relationship, but you have a plan and a promise and a people to bring about, to put everything back on track. What we derailed, you're wanting to put back on track, and we thank you for that. So Lord, let's pray that you encourage us in this season. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Hope that was encouraging and a little bit informative. And, uh, as always, be blessed.